Okay. And I know I have to... Do I, oh, oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. Well, that was cool. So I hope uh, essentially everything that you've uh, wanted to accomplish today that you have. And uh, if you haven't gotten there, just be patient with yourself. And you'll get there, buddy. Eventually. Just just keep going. Ooh. The games I'm looking forward to most uh, that are going to be coming out pretty soon is uh, Pokémon Tournament. I like me some Pokémon. And, um, obviously, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know. Oh, and I cannot forget a game that I am super excited that it's coming out. Because it literally, it, it's, it's, it's something that's like never really been done. I don't think anyway. And that is Cuphead. Because that looks awesome. Like, the Cuphead game looks incredible. If you haven't seen it or heard of it, I highly recommend just looking it up. Like, watch the trailer or something. Because that's, it's, it's super awesome. Whee! Womp. As you can see, like, I'm, I'm kind of like, just tearing through the, <laughs> be serious. You can tell that I've played them and stuff. I really like the boss battles in this game. Like, a lot. Oh, he didn't get a chance. Bam! Uh, can I... Okay, there we go. Yeah! Yes! Flying battery zone. All right, We're doing the flying battery zone. I hope I can get all the chaos. I hope I can get all the chaos emeralds before the game ends. I want to give you like the true awesome ending because there's always in Sonic there's always two endings. There's the ending where when you miss all the chaos emeralds, and then there's the true ending. When you get them all. Plus, I mean, you gotta see Super Sonic. Like, it's a Sonic. Game. It's like a. It's a classic Sonic game. How can you not see Super Sonic? Wee! Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there for a second. My favorite shield ever! Is there anything behind there? I was just making sure. Whee! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Doom ba doom! Uh, if I can just get up here. There we go. It, it doesn't even matter. I'm not even supposed to go up there. I'm I'm being a bit of a doof. Okay. I don't want to spin dash that way. Go the other way. Ah! Oh, dang it!
Ooh. Ouch. Now, it's really funny because like... I've seen such a huge... Like Sonic Mania caused such a huge explosion of people that have been playing the game and stuff. And the thing is, is... I mean, I'm... I'm I've been a Sonic fan since I could hold a controller, essentially. Like, you know, I've... I, I was there from the beginning. The only, the only time I was not there, actually, not from the very beginning. Like, the first game I played was Sonic 2. I played him kind of not in order. Because, like, Sonic 3 did not come out yet. And, um... The only ones that were available was Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. And I played Sonic 2 first. Like, someone let me borrow Sonic 1 and experience it and stuff. So, like, everything from 2 beyond, it's like... I've pretty much stayed with the series. But, back to my point, um, a lot of people that I saw, um, I won't say anybody specifically, but were like, oh yeah, on YouTube, were like, oh yeah, I've always, I've always loved Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm, I'm such a fan. And like, you know, you can tell that that's BS. They're, they're like, they're just, they're riding the wave of, like, hype and exposure when it comes to, you know, the game being current. Like, it's, it's a new thing. It's a, it's like the hip new thing or whatever. And they're trying to ride that wave, you know? I know. I know how that, I know how all that stuff works. This is great because I won't get damaged or anything. I can just jump up here and mess him up. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, we're heading into Act 2. Dun dun dun. I love this stage so much. Like, it is genius, this level design and stuff like that. Like, it's seriously awesome. Can I go up? Are you going to take me up? Okay. Good deal. Whee! Yes. I want to know if, like, the reason why the flying battery returned and stuff is because, like, it was rebuilt? Like, was this a moment in... Well, I'm trying to see if, like... Because we were transported... I'm trying to figure out the plot, essentially, or, like, the story. Because we were originally transported uh, back in time to... Or travel to Green Hill Zone. And then after that, we were trans... We went to a uh, chemical plant. So I think we're traveling through time. I think we're traveling through time potentially. And I'm probably. Uh, that's probably what it is. Okay, I need to know. Okay. All right. I'm just making sure I don't want to jump into oblivion there. Whee! I love the weather and stuff. Like, this is awesome. We need more of this. We need more, like, weather and rain and stuff like that in Sonic. It adds so much depth to the atmosphere. Like, then something that's just kind of like a static background. And they had a perfect balance with it, too. Like, yep, I got an extra life. Whee! Ooh. Uh, didn't want speed shoes. Uh, okay. Ow. Ah. Uh. 
Seriously? I gotta wait for it. Okay. Take me up. There we go. Yes. Yes, that's what I want. Alright. Do 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 Yes. Can I can I can I jump up? I'm gonna have to take the spider. I'm gonna have to ride the spider. Watch that be like a terminology or a euphemism for something. Riding the spider. Whee! Hey, if I can just get up, yeah. Okay, there we go. You know, this is very disappointing because we didn't get Chaos Emerald. I'm just as disappointed as you are. If you are. If not, I'll be disappointed for you. I do not want to jump into that sparkly ring. Okay. Is there, is there anything over here? Okay, no. It's funny because like, that guy who I just blew up. Uh, he was never- he- was in charge of the flying battery zone. Oh no. In the uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, obviously. But he was not uh whee! he was not an actual enemy that you fight. And Mania changed that. He's like you actually can knock him off or whatever and have him fall into oblivion. As he deserves. Okay. Whee! Ow. Ow. Yes. Toast. I wonder if I would have stayed on one of those if I would have got squished. Yes! Oh, press garden. I love this stage. So I hope you're doing, you're doing awesome. And I hope uh, everything you uh, essentially have set out to accomplish that you have. And if not, just be patient with yourself, and you'll get there, eventually, little by little. Just keep trying. Keep believing. Keep on doing. Uh, ouch. I think this is also like an amazingly crafted level also. Ah. It's really funny because like you could essentially be watching anybody that's playing this game right now. Like there are hundreds and hundreds upon thousands of plays of this. But to whoever is sitting down and watching me play this, thank you very much for choosing me out of everybody. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. You have so many choices. So thank you for choosing me. Okay. Ah, and thank you for sharing moments of your life watching me experience this for the billionth time. Oh. 
I still can't, I, I still play with a smile on my face, like I, I just, I can't help it. I, I love this game so much. I have not really even stopped playing. Like it's, it's kind of becoming a routine for me to get up and I'll be like, Oh, time to play Sonic Mania. Time to play like my favorite stages. Which all of the new ones are like my, the coolest stages. I wish the Mania team had a lot more control over the direction of the game though. That's why we really honestly I think didn't get as many new stages as we probably should have gotten in the first place. The guy behind Sonic Team or whatever was the person that was like you know, and I'm really grateful that he even let him make it in the first place, but it's like... He's the one that had so much input when it came to the direction of it, so... I think the Mania team and the guys that were working on it had something kind of bigger. It means of, like... Uh... Does, uh, levels and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that they have, they still probably have several concepts and stuff of ideas and everything when it comes to bosses and levels and or stages that they want to make. Which hopefully we get, like I said, a sequel. I hope so. Oh, oh, ouch. Ouch. Ow, no. Ow. Ow, why are you doing this? There we go. Yes. Uh, aw. Thought I could jump before the the words popped up. But no, that's not the case. I think I'm gonna do... Oh, I'm gonna do this. And I think... Uh, ow. Yeah, I'm gonna finish Press Garden. <laughs> this animation being all frozen. Like, Uh, if I can just get up here. This is beautifully done. Like, look at how gorgeous the, the contrast and like the color choice and everything that this is. Like, this is a beautiful stage. Like, it's amazing. Whee! My question, because I have, I, ha I can't have help but have these these things called questions is how big is Sonic compared to those uh, stone lanterns in the background like how how big are those and like how close is everything because they get bigger is Sonic teeny tiny <laughs> It means I like the scale of everything. I do love this stage up. I love this music too. Like T Lopes, man, you killed it. You're the you're like the music man. And like thank you for composing all this incredible music. And Everybody on the Mania team is, is just amazing. They're awesome. And I was going the wrong way. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I supposed to go? Uh oh, I'm stuck in a loop. Do I need to get frozen? 
doesn't look like it. Hold on a minute. No, that's not it. Oh, maybe I have to go up here. Okay. No, that's not right. What happened? What's going on? Oh, I'm I'm a doofus. There we go. I'm supposed to jump up here. It didn't take me forever to figure that out. Whee! I think it's super cool that they were able to make like a really like a, a garden stage. Like a very Japanese garden stage and stuff, but like add the the element of ice to it and everything. It's like this is just awesome. The colors and everything. That's another thing that's kind of missing in 3D Sonic games is like just these beautifully designed levels. Like Oops! Ouch. Because a lot of it's, it's based in like fantasy but realistic locations. So, but Sonic's world is like, I mean, classic Sonic's world is very like imaginative and inventive and stuff like that when it comes to uh the locations of places. Blah. That guy who I'm fighting right now is called Shinobi or er, uh hard boiled heavy shinobi or heavy shinobi. Forget. Like I forget. Ah. There's Eggman. Like me. <laughs> yeah, Stardust Speedway. All right, well, that is going to be it for this part of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and sharing moments of your life and everything like that with me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to support my little channel, you can subscribe or boost or do whatever for this video. Um, you know, a thumbs up or whatever. Um, and I will see you very shortly. All right, you guys take care. Stay tuned and have a great rest of your day.